परंपरा श्रुतिश्रुतिपराण आलय करुणालयं नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशवंबादरायण सूत्रभाष्यंदे भगवत ईश्वरगुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्याप्तदेहाय दक्षिणा सहना सहन भक्त सह वीर कर्वाह आदिमध्यांतवर्जित आनंद घन आपूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे फोर्थ पाद ऑफ दि फर्स्ट अध्याय लुक्ट दि फर्स्ट टू सूत्र आनुमानिक शरीर रूपक विन्यस्त गृहतेर्दर्शेती चफ एट ऑल दि पूर्व पक्षी वेर टू क्लेम सॉरी If at all the puro pakshi were to claim that anumanikam, anumana gamyam, anumana siddham, pradhanam is being discussed in the shruti, so you cannot say that it is ashabdam. Then that is not true. Why? Because your claim says the siddhanti as to avyakta shabda means pradhana, sankhya shastra, sankhya smriti gata pradhana shabda. So, Puro Pakshi is saying the Avyakta that is there in Katopanishad, that Avyakta Shabda stands for Pradhana. It is not true. Why? Because that Avyakta means Sharira. The comparison of the Sharira done in the, with the Ratha, in the Ratha Upama. There, you understand that Avyakta means Sharira if you analyze the context. Then how can the word avyakta stand for sharira because sharira is stula and it is vyakta, it is not avyakta. To that objection, objection of the Sankhya opponent, Puro Pakshi, the answer was given in the second sutra, Sukshmantu Tadharatvat. That not only does sharira word mean stula, it can also mean sukshma. Now, uh, as an aside, not an aside, on a related note, uh, the Stula Sharira Arambhaka, I had mentioned in the last patha, as, as per, you know, Tattva Bodha or other such granthas, there is no clear mention as to the Stula Sharira is created by Sukshma Sharira, it is not. It is created by, uh, by you know, parts. सम सत्व रजस और तमो गुणा मिक्सअप ऑफ पंचमहाभूता ईच पार्ट ऑफ द शरीर इज क्रिएटेड इन दैट मैनर सो टू दूक्ष्म शरीर सो सम पीपल टेक दैट दी सूक्ष्म हियर मीन्स सूक्ष्म शरीर एंड सम टेक दिस सूक्ष्म टू मीन सूक्ष्म Mahabhutas. But if you look into it, the word has been used as Bhuta Sukshma. So if you look at translations, you will see, you know, Sharira, Sukshma Sharira or Pancha Mahabhutas, kind of a trans translation there. But let's stick to Bhuta Sukshma. It was not mentioned as Sukshma Bhuta. There is a difference between Sukshma Bhuta and Bhuta Sukshma. And there is a difference between Sukshma Sharira, Bhuta Sukshma and Sukshma Mahabhuta. Because the words are different, they should have slightly different meanings. It may not be exactly same. Therefore, we should differentiate. Otherwise, see, Sukshma Mahabhutas are words which are, is a word which is clearly known. So that word could have been used in the Vritti. So Vanacharya says that there is a difference between all three. So how do we make a difference 
uh, how do we understand the difference between these? So we can hold on to a simple understanding that Sukshma Sharira is what we know as uh, the sum of Antakkarana, Buddhi and an overlap of Prana. So that is not the Karana for Stula Sharira. So we can differentiate that from Bhuta Sukshma. What about Sukshma Mahabhutas? Sukshma Mahabhutas are <coughs> individual five. So they are individual five which are pre uh, Panchikrita, the Apanchikrita. So they are pre Panchikrita Tvam. So they are Apanchikrita Mahabhutas. They are Sukshma Mahabhutas and they are five individuals. They are not mixed up at all because there is no Panchikarana yet. So, Bhuta Sukshma can be seen as some kind of a collection of Sattva, Rajas or Tamas from these five. So, this Sattva Amsha, what is seen in Tattva Bodhaya, Sattva Amsha, Rajas Amsha and then we have Tamas Amsha. So, Tamas Amsha creates this this Tula Prapancha. So there we can see Bhuta Sukshma is Bhuta Nam Sukshma. So of the Bhutas, what is Sukshma is not necessarily only an individual Sukshma Mahabhuta, but it can be Sukshma Guna also, which is picked from all of these five in some way so that the Sharira can be created. So that can be a simple understanding and thereby we can see some differences also. It is okay to take the meaning as Sukshma Sharira also and as Sukshma Mahabhuta also at a very superficial level but these questions may come up as to how can this Thula Sharira be created from Sukshma Sharira because we have not seen such a thing. Therefore, uh, it is if at all such question comes up, this kind of a clarity is useful. These you know simple differences can be useful to Satisfy the buddhi. That's all. Okay. So that's the uh, on the related note. Then the next question that comes up from the Puro Pakshi is Nanu Bhuta Sukshma Avyakta Angi Kare Tasya Pradhanatvena Sankyaihi Angi Kritatvat Tadvada Prapta Ityata Aha. Now there was a question on the group as to this Avyakta Shabda in. Bhashya also, Bhagavan Bhashyakara says that Avyakta Shabda means Maya. Then, what is going on in this, this set of sutras, in this Adhikarana? Why is it differentiated from Pradhana? So, we say Pradhana is Prakriti or Maya or Avidya, but there are differences between Sankhya's Avidya, uh, Sankhya's uh, Pradhana and our Avidya Maya or Avyakta also, Prakriti. These words can be similar but not same. Meaning what they call as Pradhana, Vedanta uses all that has been described in the Srishti Prakriya of Sankhyas. We agree with that for the most part. But as soon as the Sankhya claims that Pradhana is independent, we say no. So we say our Maya is not exactly Pradhana because Maya is dependent on Ishwara, on Brahma. And the word Ishwara or Paramatma has been used by Bhagavan Bhashyakara to stand for Nirguna Brahma also. The word Brahma can mean Saguna Nirguna both. Similarly, the word Parabrahma or Paramatma also can mean both because there is no other, there is no second entity, there is only one Brahma who is Nirguna and that Nirguna is seen as Saguna from the Srishta Avastha, from the Stiti Avastha, from the created world's perspective where we all are. So there we cannot see Nirguna directly. So we have to see the Saguna aspect. So it is the same Brahma who is seen as Nirguna through the glass of Maya through the prism of Maya with all its shades. Therefore, as soon as the Sankhya claims that Pradhana and Maya are same and your Bhuta Sukshma 
that you are talking of which is sharira arambhaka stula sharira arambhaka that is nothing but pradhana we say hold on that pradhana is not jagat karana if you say sukshma bhuta sukshma is pradhana which is stula sharira karana or stula prapancha karana also we say it is not independent yes it has use because it is part of ishwara ishwara becomes ishwara because of this maya maya tattva which you may call as pradhana but you should agree that the purusha your purusha is dependent on pradhana but they don't have such concept they say that the pradhana and purusha are totally separate entities they never merge they have never been one they can never be one so they are always different they are two real entities they are two separate entities sharing the same level of reality they have parmartha satta but we say pradhana that you call as pradhana that maya prakruti avidya has mithya astitva it does not have parmartha satta there is mithya satta meaning there is vyavaharika satta there is dependent existence on brahma tattva what you what you call as purusha so this is the difference and that comes up in the next sutra nanu bhuta sukshma avyakta angikare if at all you say avyakta you accept avyakta to be bhuta sukshma then tasya eva bhuta sukshma sukshmasya bhuta sukshma what do you call as bhuta sukshma tasya eva pradhanatvena angikrutatva kutra sankhya grante sankhi bai sankhya sankhyai teshu teshu grantheshu in their own granthas they have accepted kapila muni says that in this smriti that it is pradhana alone which is bhuta sukshma and that is jagat karana also not only stula sharira arambhaka but whatever is stula is all sharira only for one or without sharira also it is for upabhoga for another therefore it is all karya of that same pradhana which is called as bhuta sukshma by you therefore you cannot say ashabdham pradhanam pradhana is not having shruti pramana this claim or this kind of an aropa cannot be made by you the siddhanti on sankhyas so tadvadha prapta tadvadha is pradhana vada prapta ityatah from the purva pakshi's perspective pradhana vada is there in the shruti by avyakta shabda if at all it stands for bhuta sukshma also that bhuta sukshma which is stula shri arambhaka is nothing but pradhana in sankhya granthas the reply to that is tadadinatvad arthavat tadadinatvad arthavat so this uh, pradhana if at all you say it is pradhana vada we'll give you some concession says the siddhanti if at all you agree that the pradhana tattva is tadadina purusha adina brahma adina ishvara adina then we agree will you agree you can't agree because otherwise your entire system will fall apart your entire system will fall apart because you will no longer be dvaita you will be advaita you will fall in the advaita category so tadadinatva ishvara adinatvat brahma paramatma adinatvat arthavat tu padas tadadinatvat ita samasa and arthavat arthavat arthavan what is matu pending shabda so arthavan in neuter it will be arthavat in pullinga arthavan in srilinga arthavati so here pradhana is tadadinatvat kasya pradhanasya tadadinatvat pradhanasya arthavatva so pradha pradhanam arthavat pradhana is arthavat has a purpose what is the purpose the purpose is that being dependent on satta and spurti for prapancha srushti on brahma being dependent for its satta and spurti on brahma it is useful to create the prapancha as part of ishvara ishvara wields the 
प्रधान और माया एस प्रकृति न स्वतंत्र प्रधानवाद अस्मा अंगीकृत सिद्धांति बाय दिस स्वतंत्र प्रधानवाद दि इंडिपेडेंट प्रधान एज दि जगत् कारण इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेड बाय कस्मा फॉर वॉट रीजन प्रकृति और अव्यक्त मीनिंग प्रकृति और माया और अविद्या बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स डिपेंडेंस ऑन ईश्वर ईश्वराधीन then the puro pakshi says then why do you say that uh, you know avyakta has a role why use avyakta at all shruti could have said that you know ishwara creates this prapancha without using this avyakta at all tarhi ishwara devastu jagat utpatti hi kintena kintena avyaktena kim what is the use of avyakta if at all if at all there is no need for avyakta at all para brahma himself can create then why do you need avyakta at all ishwara devastu jagat utpatti so we say ishwara devastu jagat utpatti this ishwara shabda has to be understood that ishwara without so ishwara this ishwara word has been used by the puro pakshi thinking that ishwara is purusha the way they have purusha the word purusha who is purusha is also not dependent on प्रधान सो वील एग्री दैट पुरुषा इज नॉट डिपेंडेंट ऑन अव्यक्ता और प्रधान और माया फॉर एक्सिस्टेंस बट फॉर सृष्टि देर इज डिपेंडेंस इफ एट ऑल देर इज सृष्टि देन देर इज डिपेंडेंस ऑन अव्यक्ता पुरुषा इज डिपेंडेंट पुरुषा बीइंग निर्गुण रियली इन स्वरूप के नॉट क्रिएट एनीथिंग बिकॉज देर इज नथिंग अदर देन ब्रह्म अदर देन itself then to create or manifest this prapancha something is needed and therefore maya this trigunatmika maya is used therefore when the puro pakshi says ishwara he is not considering that ishwara has maya or avyakta shakti as a part that is how the brahma becomes colored as ishwara from the perspective of the srishta prapancha there is coloring of maya so let there be jagat utpatti for from ishwara meaning nirguna brahma as per the puro pakshi kintena kintena avyaktena what is use of avyakta atah arthavat no avyakta is useful your pradhana independent pradhana is not useful but avyakta which is dependent maya that is useful how so shruti says so mainam tu maheshwaram so shetashwara upishad says that mainam tu maheshwaram so maya is there which is avyakta but ishwara is who mai he is the one who wields maya he uses maya for the purpose of creation or manifestation of this prapancha iti shrutau avyaktasya ishwara sahakaritva avagamat ishwara sahakari maya is sahakari avyakta is sahakari it helps ishwara to attain the srishti as per the srishti sthiti and laya of course all three when you say srishti srishti is an upalakshana for sthiti and laya also so it helps ishwara it is sahakari सहकारिणी माया और सहकार सहकारी इज अव्यक्त फॉर ईश्वर टू एटेन दी सृष्टि इन कीपिंग विद दी समि प्रारब्ध इति श्रुत इन श्रुति इट से देर इज अव्यक्ता मेन्शन अव्यक्त से ईश्वर सहकारिव इज नोन अवगमात एंड वी एक्सेप्ट दैट सहकारिव से अवगमात प्रयोजनवत अर्थवत मीन्स प्रयोजनवत it is meaningful this avyakta is meaningful it is purposeful it is not that ishwara can have the srishti sthiti and laya role without maya or avyakta 
without that there is no ishwara really there is only brahma and there is no thought or analysis possible there is nothing possible there is no imagination or kalpana possible there is no uh, thought also that we see in shruti as to let me become many so let me become many let me manifest all this is possible only with maya avyakta as equivalent to manas antakarana of the jiva therefore prayojan was avyaktam ityartha it is avyakta is purposeful this avyakta is not pradhana if at all you claim you the puro pakshi sankhya say that no this avyakta that you keep on saying is useful that avyakta useful in srishti is nothing but pradhana to that the answer is given avyaktam na pradhanam ityatra hetvantaram ah why avyakta is not pradhana another reason is given one reason is given as it is ishwara adhina avyakta is ishwara adhina whereas your pradhana is not ishwara adhina niyatva vachana cha प्रधान शुड बी नोन such a statement does not exist there is no statement which says that pradhana should be known because jnanena mukti hi nayayikas spend their entire study in what in knowing knowing what prapancha what is this prapancha made up of what are the components what is their lakshana how does it differentiate differentiate itself from the others in the prakruta avastha and in laya avastha all this analysis is of the prapancha and then towards the end one of the padarthas being atma they say atma and anatma viveka is also possible because tarkikas today meaning the basic tarka grantha also which covers न्याय एंड वैशेषिक शास्त्र बोथ देर इज नो सेपरेट न्याय शास्त्र एंड वैशेषिक शास्त्र फेमस टुडे सो दि कॉमन ग्रंथ द बेसिक ग्रंथ इज तर्क संग्रह ऑल दि मल्टीपल टीका आर ऑन दैट तर्क संग्रह विच इज कॉमन टू बोथ न्याय एंड वैशेषिक सो दट तर्क प्रवेश शास्त्र इज तर्क संग्रह that itself is by annam bhattacharya who is a follower of bhamati meaning he is an advaitin so tarka is useful undoubtedly but what has happened is that even at the end of that tarka grantha tarka shastra in his own uh, deepika tika also uh, in fact uh, uh, not annam bhattacharya but uh, the uh, one who wrote the padakritya tika also so there he says that there is uh, uh, there is study of atma jnana of atma possible by analysis of all padarthas which are part of the prapancha including this atma because atma is one of the padarthas and then this atma can be known while knowing the anatma also because each and every anatma is analyzed and differentiated from the others so to atma as one of the padarthas so each padartha is seen as separate from the others and there is differentiation done now this atma is also a part of the study and that leads to atma jnana that is one of the claims made as to how tarka can also lead to mukti now sankhyas also what if you see in gita the word sankhya is used so sankhya there means those who follow jnana so there is lot of jnana analysis in sankhya also because there is analysis of purusha also and prakriti also prakriti analysis is quite a lot and then there is purusha analysis also this purusha unfortunately remains separate all the while 
that is true in each and every uh, darshana other than advaita vedanta in fact vedanta is advaita vedanta there is no other vedanta these are all uh, new vedanta are all recreated from the other darshanas they are all uh, hidden tarkikas maybe hidden sankhyas yogis but then they all tend to either become advaitins or remain separate as darshanikas but there is no vedanta really there because there is no shadling analysis in them leading to tatpare nishya their tatpare nishya falls apart therefore vedanta means advaita vedanta in in all the purva paksha as purva paksha of all the darshanikas including uh, including uh, non astikas meaning the bauddha and jainas also whenever they talk about vedantas whether it is uh, astika darshanas or non astika darshanas whenever they take the purva paksha as vedanta there the vedanta is always advaita vedanta is there is no other vedanta anyway that's an aside so now this niyatvam when you look at it in fact in uh, mandukya gaudapada acharya we have seen earlier also he says that all these who are talking about srishti also analyze srishti in detail and then srishta padarthas also by extension in detail they are all srishti chintakah they are not mukti chintakah they are srishti chintakah they are not tattva chintakah they are all analyzing only srishti and they get trapped there because the analysis is endless padarthas are endless they are although the you can categorize padartha categories are limited and you can end up categorizing but then the padarthas are limitless your analysis will never end because uh, there are so many aspects of maya which can never be covered that's why saguna saguna upasana ending to phala is possible as described in the srishti uh, in the shruti sorry as described in the shruti the upasana is possible phala paryantam but to know all the aspects of ishta devata alone let alone uh, uh, only ishta devata let alone uh, ishwara in all his glory is impossible even uh, when we look at uh, vibhuti pada or the <coughs> vishwarupa darshana if you look at that in gita that is all sampling bhagwan himself says bhagwan krishna himself says that i am just giving a sampling what is showed arjuna in vishwarupa darshana in 11th chapter also it is all all limited because he he is still although arjuna sees himself also in that vishwarupa still that vision he is a vision which is dvaita vision it is separate he sees himself there but not as as himself he sees a vision of himself there beat with divya chakshu he sees a vision of himself there like swapna but he is still standing separate in that vision and that vision cannot be complete because limitlessness infinity cannot be looked at so it is all a sampling even in vishwarupa that vishwa entire vishwa cannot be seen in all its detail so whatever was the limited jnana of arjuna even up to that extent of the entire jnana he may have seen at the most but still it is limited so this niyatvam will never be complete even if it is tried it will never be complete when it comes to srishti when it comes to ishwara meaning as jagat karana ishwara but even so is it talked about in the shruti at all that this pradhana should be known and by extension pradhana karya should you be looking at this jagat and analyzing jagat only up to the extent of landing on its karana as per taitriya upanishad or chandogya shastodhyay look at it the question starts from the jagat but the interest is who is the creator knowing which everything can be known as well so that kind of a knowability is it there in pradhana at all niyatva avachana is there 
it has not been mentioned at all what has been mentioned is yodi jagat karana that is not pradhana how so pradhana purusha vivekat kaivalyam vadadbhihi sankhyaihi niyatvena pradhanam abhidhiyate purva pakshi says this pradhana purusha viveka is done through sankhyas mini through sankhya through the sankhya they use sankhya they use numbers as to which is a prak- how many shuddha prakrutis are there how many purushas are there in this shuddha prakriti also means pra- shuddha karana then vikruti means karya how many shuddha karyas are there meaning those who do not tend to become karana or shuddha vikrutis and then there is a shuddha prakriti also which is not having any karana that is pradhana so pradha, pradhana is prakriti really and the end karyas are all vikrutis they are not prakrutis but anything in between between them mahat ityadi onwards so all that is what they are all prakriti vikruti so including purusha they have these 25 principles so prakriti vikruti or prakriti vikruti both and thereby they analyze and they do viveka between pradhana and purusha in the end this all this prapancha is created from this pradhana which is mula prakriti which is not a vikruti at all which is not a karya and then there is purusha who is separate who is also not karya at all so that purusha and pradhana that purusha and that pradhana both are separate from each other so such viveka can be done and due to that viveka what can happen they say from this analysis alone you can get kaivalya the yogi has a follow through in practice he says you do this analysis and stay there you meditate upon that so with, through using this viveka once you know the difference then you start with monitoring this you follow set of rules yama niyama then asana pranayama then you will have pratyahara you can withdraw yourself like kurmangas like a tortoise or turtle you know it, it it pulls back its limbs onto its shell you can pull back your indriyas from this samadama basically you can pull back your physical activity and mental activity also and indriyas are withdrawn then after pratyahara you can have dharana dhyana samadhi triad and then you land in kaivalya in yoga also the fourth pada is kaivalya so you'll get kaivalya this kaivalya is what purusha remains in, in his own swarupa yoga chitta vritti nirodha then tada drashtu swarupe avasthanam kaivalya is what in the drashtu swarupa the avasthana the presence is in what kaivalya meaning in shuddha drashta he has nothing to do with this pradhana he does not get mixed up or does not get confused that he is mixed up with pradhana and purusha remains separate as a bhokta they say purusha is not karta he will remain separate as a bhokta so those who talk about this who are those sankhyas vadadvi sankhyehi niyatvena pradhana vidhyate their shastra teaches what so the sankhyas teach that pradhana is neya should be known this pradhana should be known nacha atra avyakta shabda matra mantrena jnatavyam avyaktam iti vachah samasthi however although in sankhya shastra you have pradhana which should be known and then you spend your entire analysis on pradhana and some on purusha also because one who is separate from all these prakriti vikrutis is purusha even separate from mula prakriti pradhana is purusha that's all you have so although pradhana should be known in the shastra of sankhyas sankhya granthas as what purusha is separate from this pradhana which pradhana that pradhana who should be known otherwise how will you know purusha 
just like tarkikas you will know atma when you know all padarthas atma being one of the padarthas similarly what sankhya say you should know these prakriti vikrutis and then finally one who is separate from this prakriti vikruti that is pradhana uh, that is purusha so pradhana should be known in detail you should know all the pradhana and pradhana karyas but in the shruti proper na cha atra atra in this kathavalli or elsewhere also in the shruti avyakta shabda matram antena other this avyakta shabda there is nothing mentioned as to this one should this pradhana should be known nyatama avyaktam iti meaning avyakta shabda has been used but avyakta should be known that kind of a statement isn't there avyaktat purusha paraha this avyakta is superior to others but then superior to avyakta is purusha that is the statement there is nothing mentioned there as this avyakta is ज्ञातव्य अव्यक्ता शुड बी नोन ज्ञेय अव्यक्ता इति वचः न समस्ति इट इज नॉट देयर अतः ज्ञेयत्वस्य अवचना देयरफॉर व्हाट दिस ज्ञेयत्व फॉर अव्यक्ता इफ एट ऑल यू थिंक इट इज प्रधान दैट आल्सो इज नॉट देयर सो द अव्यक्ता व्हिच इज श्रुतिगत अव्यक्ता व्हिच इज ईश्वराधीन दैट इटसेल्फ हैज नॉट बीन stated to be known which should be known what about what to talk about pradhana kimuta pradhana which is different from this avyakta but if at all you say this avyakta is same as pradhana still this avyakta also has not been said as something which should be known and therefore itself since your sankhya grantha says pradhana should be known and shruti says this avyakta should not be known it does not say that avyakta should be known therefore this avyakta is different from pradhana your pradhana atah gnyatvasya avachanat anavidhanat na avyaktam pradhanam ityartha therefore shruti gata kata shruti gata avyakta shabda is not pradhana which is sankhya shastra gata nanu gnyatva avachanam asangatam mitya shankhya ah now the puro pakshi says why do you say that this avyakta shabda or pradhana is not said to be known is not stated as what should be known it is said so if at all the purva pakshi claims by quoting something then there is refutation in the next sutra vadati iti chenna prajnyo hi prakaranat vadati iti chenna prajnyo hi prakaranat so vadati iti chet meaning pradhanasya नियत्वं वदति इति चेत इफ एट ऑल प्रधान इज सेट सेट टू बी व्हाट सेट टू बी नोन प्रधान इफ एट ऑल प्रधान इज सेट टू बी नोन देन इट इज नॉट ट्रू व्हाई बिकॉज प्राज्ञा इज सेट टू बी नोन व्हाई डू यू से सो प्रकरण बिकॉज दैट इज अ कॉन्टेक्स्ट इफ यू लुक एट दी कठा कॉन्टेक्स्ट कठोपनिषद कॉन्टेक्स्ट देन इट इज नॉट दिस अव्यक्ता विच यू कॉल एज प्रधान विच इज सेट टू बी न्ये बट इट इज प्राज्ञ पुरुषा हू इज सेट टू बी न्ये सो वदती चेत न न इज दि रिफ्यूटेशन प्राज्ञ ही प्रकरण दट इज पदच्छेद so the based on context due to the context it is definitely prajna who is to be known as separate from all of this and that prajna is no one but paramatma purusha mahatah param dhruvam nichayya iti uttara vakyam avyakta shabditam pradhanam niyatvena vadati iti chet na siddhanti will say na to what to vadati iti chet if at all the puro pakshi sankhya is claiming that pradhana is said to be nyaya should be known how so because it is shabdita the next statement the next vakya has not been seen by you the siddhanti says purva pakshi iti uttara vakyam avyakta shabditam pradhanam the uttara vakya the next statement to what that paratvam mentioned of mahat there is said to be 
what is mahata param avyaktam was said earlier now this avyaktam is not said to be nyaya if at all siddhanti claims that pura pakshi says no it is said as nyaya how so the statement itself says that there is a pratyaksha shruti mahata param dhruvam nichayya nichayya ni purvaka chairu dhatu and chairu chairu is puja nishamaneyo ho has a puja artha or nishamana artha nishamana is darshana so darshana is jnana therefore this nichayya levanta pada having known nischayena having nishena jnatva having known doubtlessly what that dhruvan dhruva tattva what is that param which is superior superior to what mahat so this mahat tattva is inferior to what that should be known so what is superior to mahat should be known should be known nischayena what is that that is avyakta which is pradhana therefore how do you say you the siddhanti how do you say that pradhana is not mentioned as to be known tattva it is to be known mentioned as to be known by saying nichayya mahata param avyaktam nichayya ityartha that is the purva paksha iti uttara vakyam avyakta shabditam pradhanam that avyakta shabditam kena kena shabdena pare param iti shabdena that param shabda which is what param nichayya iti vakyena param avyaktam nichayya kasmat param mahata param therefore it is avyakta alone as per the earlier statement mahatav param avyaktam so that param avyaktam should be known nichaya having known therefore pradhanam niyatvena vadati iti chet if at all that is a doubt na says this siddhanti why prajnyo hi paramatma hi nichayatvena nirdishta who is nischayena nyatatvena nirdishta he is not pradhana not avyakta let alone pradhana not avyakta also why because prajnya that individual who is separate from the shariratraya that prajna who is separate from all the tattvas which are described in the shruti in sequence of superiority subtlety being innermost that kind of an analysis which is done that viveka of purusha prajna paramatma from all of the other tattvas they those tattvas themselves if you analyze those tattvas are not sankhya tattvas but if at all you find some parallel with some words in the shruti till this prajna is the culmination as to be known all of the others are in passing if at all you want to reach a destination in your travel someone says you know there will be this uh, circle then there will be a particular shop and all that then there will be this complex or whatever you go and then go further to that northwards you will find this destination so what you want to reach is that destination you don't care for whatever blocks or you know landmarks which are given at all because you use them and drop them you don't hold on to them and say that oh, i have reached this destination if at all someone asks you also you don't remember the entire path because as soon as you hit uh, you know these multiple landmarks one after the other you keep on dropping oh this is gone by this has gone by that has gone by and then you finally land on the destination you don't hold on to all of the others you may not even be able to repeat as to you know uh, what was the exact path you remember only for that short span of time so that you reach your destination somebody who has a good memory may hold on to all of that but then most of them don't care about it also don't give more value than what is needed similarly here all these are in the path of your viveka and you are to drop all of these once you land on your subtle innermost prajna self that prajna is pratyekatma that pratyekatma is paramatma indeed he is evakar artha has evakar artha nichayatvena nirdishtah na pradhanam nirdishtam ityartha kasmat kasmat karana due to what reason because there is a statement that follows even that statement that you are quoting mahatav param dhruvam nichayya go further and you will see purushanna param kinchit purushat param kinchit nasti there is nothing superior to purusha 
सा काष्टा सा परागति ही दैट इज द एंड ऑफ योर गति ही अंडरस्टैंडिंग अवगति ही दैट इज द एंड यू कैन नॉट गो बियॉन्ड द पुरुष बिकॉज दैट इज यू यू कैन नॉट गो बियॉन्ड यू यू कैन नॉट स्टम्बल अपॉन यूअर सेल्फ यू कैन नॉट ट्रांसग्रेस यूअर सेल्फ इत्यादि आत्म प्रकरणादित्यर्थ बिकॉज आत्मा इज द प्रकरण प्राज्ञा परमात्मा आत्मा प्रत्येक आत्मा ब्रह्मात्मा इज द प्रकरण नॉट प्रधान नॉट अव्यक्त लेटलोन प्रधान लेटलोन युअर प्रधान बिकॉज अव्यक्त इज वॉट तदधीन ईश्वर अधीन वेर एज प्रधान इज अनधीन इज अनधीन तत्व ऑफ सांख्या इत्यर्थ इतन प्रधानमत्र ग्राह्यम फर्दर ऑलसो ड्यू टू दिस रीजन प्रधान इज नॉट ग्राह्यम मीनि नॉट ने नॉट टॉट एज ने वाय त्रयाणमेव उपन्यास प्रश्न त्रयाणमेव उपन्यास प्रश्न त्रयाण उपन्यास प्रश्न च वाय वाय इज प्रधान नॉट ने बिकॉज इट इज नॉट इन दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट इफ यू लुक एट इट प्रकरण यू सेड पूर्वपक्षी से वाई यूजिंग प्रकरण यू कैंट जस्ट गेट अवे बिकॉज देर इज सो मच ऑफ डिस्कशन हाउ कैन प्रधान नॉट बी वन ऑफ द थिंग्स वी आर नॉट डिनाइंग दट पुरुष इज टू बी नोन बट अव्यक्त इज इक्वल टू प्रधान इज ऑल टू ऑल्सो टू बी नोन वाई नॉट दैट वाय वाय नॉट प्रधान ऑल्सो बींग बी ने पुरुष ऑल्सो बी ने परमात्मा प्राज्ञा हु इज पुरुष इन सांख्य शास्त्र सो जस्ट बिकॉज पुरुष इज ने डज नॉट मीन दट प्रधान इज नॉन ने what about that objection so that is answered here only the questions which have been asked have been answered in katopanishad everything else that comes comes as a parcel is all packaging you may retain uh, the envelope just for you know uh, emotional sake or for packing purpose else for another time or whatever but that does not mean that it has the same value as the content what is the content that content is of the context is purusha in vedanta proper but if you analyze the entire katopanishad yes there are other things also taught because there are three questions that nachiketa asked the three questions trayanam eva prashnanam trayanam eva trayanam meaning three answers were given three tatvas were discussed Not param tattva. One of them is param tattva. But then uh, para tattva. One of them is para tattva. While the others are also there. There are two things also which are discussed based on the question of Nachiketa. So trayana me eva cha evam upanyasa ha. The elaboration is of only, indeed only of these three. Which three that will be talked about? And prashna cha. Because why? His questions were also. If you look at what are the questions. the elaboration were of only three things and the question was also about three things nachiketa's questions and upanyasa the, all the elaboration narration the narrative in the katopanishad by yamaraja is all about these three and pradhana is not one of them so if at all you were to claim that okay something else should be known like agni should be known we'll say yes agni should be known for the agni chayana and the phala of that swarga phala which nachiketa inquired into that was given by the answer was given by yamraja in quite details those details are missing in katopanishad uh, recently i heard that the elaboration of that agni this the agni was also named as nachiketa agni so that nachiketa agni chayana elaboration in detail is there in taitriya shaka so somebody said that uh, uh, they are uh, going to do this yaga so i asked where is the elaboration of this uh, nachiketa agni because it uh, occurs in katopanishad where is the elaboration so there is there is elaboration in katha shaka also but there is also elaboration in taitriya shaka of krishna yajurveda as to how to do, do this nachiketa agni chayana and everything that follows that the karma so which are these three questions and three upanyasas in katopanishad trayana meva 
अग्नि जीव परमात्मा देर इज एलॉबरेशन उपन्यास एंड प्रश्न प्रश्न एंड देन फॉलो ऑन उपन्यास उत्तरा विथ उपन्यास ऑफ दीज थ्री विच थ्री अग्नि हाउ टू डू दिस अग्नि कार्य पर्टिक्युलर अग्नि कार्य फॉर वॉट फला स्वर्ग फला हु इज दिस जीवा दैट क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्ट एंड देन देर एज एलॉबरेशन ऑफ परमात्मा ऑल्सो so these three answers were given these uh, upanyasas answering these three questions were given which were the questions so evam uttara vakya paryalochanaya vaktavya uh, vaktavyatvena upanyasah what should be narrated in details what should be stated and upanyasa should be done teaching should be made teaching should be made or what should be taught that was decided by yamaraja based on the question of nachiketa so uttar vakya paryalochanaya through the analysis of the following statements which following statements in after the questions after the opening questions of because uh, as a boon there are three boons given and three boons were these three questions by nachiketa as a price chitta also uh, because uh, nachiketa was waiting for three nights without food also outside yamaraja's house nivasasthana waiting for yamaraja to come back from his trip yamaraja is very busy so when uh, धर्मराज एवं राजा केम बैक ही गेव थ्री बूंस टू दिस वटु ब्राह्मण एंड दीज थ्री क्वेश्चन वे आस्ट सो तद विषय एव प्रश्न अभी दृश्य है वाय दीज उपन्यास बिकॉज क्वेश्चन वे आर ऑलसो रिलेटेड टू दोज थ्री कठवल्या इन कठवल्ली यू सी दिस कठोपनिषद वल्ली स तो अग्नि इत्यादि अग्नि प्रश्न सो दर वॉज अग्नि प्रश्न रिलेटेड टू अग्नि एंड देन ये एम प्रियते विचिकित्सा मनुष्य जीव प्रश्न सो दिस विचिकित्सा प्रियते प्रियते विचिकित्सा प्रियते सती और प्रियते विषय ऑल्सो बट वेन दी सो सती सप्तमी विषय वंस दिस बॉडी ड्रॉप्स ऑफ दिस प्रेता What happens to the Atma, Jivatma? It is Jiva question. Related to Jiva, there was a question, and then where is the Paramatma? So Anyatra Dharma, Anyatra Dharma. So yet Pashyasi Tadvada. What you see, you tell me. What is that Tatwa you see? Meaning you know, says Nachiketa to Yamaraja, as that which is different from Dharma, that which is different from Adharma also. Please teach me that Tatwa. so what is that this is follow on request because yamaraja goes on talking lot of things and then also is so impressed with uh, nachiketa when he turned down all the all the vibhutis yoga shastra before kaivalya before this uh, kaivalya in yoga shastra there is vibhuti pada third pada which is very tempting and then patanjali maharshi himself says that you will not get kaivalya samadhi if you fall to vibhutis so vibhutis are a test they are a test for multiple reasons from the they are good also from multiple reasons but they can trap similarly is a test given to nachiketa long life lord the status of being an emperor with anything and everything at his disposal is offered but then this what to turns it down he says i don't want any of that you give me what i have asked for so he is so impressed that he is praising nachiketa and then when uh, nachiketa sees that you know there is lot of praise going on but uh, i am not getting what i want immediately so he says he repeats this question no you tell me anyatra dharma anyatra dharma ityadi so he says it is parmatma prashna so he says you tell me that he reasserts his question with an additional uh, tinge of that 
detailing detailing as to i want to know exactly this you may be praising one jeeva nachiketa but i want you to tell me about that atma tattva which is different from dharma adharma and thereby he clarifies his question further having asked it jeeva prashna then he say, this lands in parmatma now jeeva prashna when jeeva swarupa has to be described uh, described then parmatma would have come in but then he asks this question which is related to parmatma therefore this aikya is taught by yamaraja as an answer to the second question as well as third question and agni karya has been uh, not agni karya but agni karma related any karma related to agni particularly for swarga prapti although I, all these uh, karmas the main phala is swarga there can be other phalas but then main phala of every agni karya every karma every not agni karya agni karya is particularly its uh, paribhashika to uh, agni chayana done by brahmachari like agni hotra for a grahastha agni karya is for a brahmachari so agni karma any karma related to agni any upasana related to agni also will lead to main phala will be swarga but then there can be uh, phala mentioned specifically in the shastra in that that prakarana so there is agni prashna jeeva prashna and parmatma prashna ataha na avyaktam pradhanam ityar there is no pradhana or avyakta prashna at all avyakta prashna itself is not there where is the discussion of avyakta leading to niyatvam of avyakta there is no such uh, context at all let alone pradhana and therefore avyakta is not pradhana avyakta itself is not mentioned to be known it was not the prashna it was not the upanyasa related to therefore pradhana is not at all in the context shrauta avyakta shabda na sankhya asadharana tattva gochara vaidika shabdatvat mat shabdavad ityah now to close this adhikarana the siddhanti says you puro pakshi sankhya things that all these words which are occurring in the shruti which have some kind of a similar shade to yours they are all sankhya of course you may have got influence from the shruti and written your own shastra kapila muni may had created this sankhya shastra based on shruti we do not disagree but then the focus is only on parts and these all these words that you have used which are paribhashika to sankhya similar words or even same words in the shruti do not have the same meaning they don't carry the same meaning so what is sankhya shastra saying that this word means this meaning mahat has this meaning avyakta has this meaning pradhana has this meaning if at all such words or similar words occur in the shruti you cannot hijack the meaning to your own sankhya meaning paribhashaka meanings you have to take the meaning in the context this is the siddhanti saying so shrautaha avyakta shabda the avyakta shabda in the shruti which is heard in the shruti that is not same as the paribhashika avyakta shabda in sankhya grantha so sankhya asadharan tattva gochara nasti it is not having the meaning of that tattva which is asadharan in sankhya shastra which shabda avyakta shabda which avyakta shabda that avyakta shabda which is in the shruti shrauta why because this avyakta shabda is shrauta meaning it is what it is this avyakta shabdasya vaidika shabdatva because it is a vaidika shabda vaidika shabda and this smriti or sankhya shastra shabda is not the same shabda the shabdas are different the shabda arthas are also different they need not be the same artha they need not be even similar even if the words are same the meaning is not similar why vaidika shabdatvat so you have to find meaning in vaidika shabda veda context itself not from smriti you cannot bring it from sankhya smritis or sankhya granthas and not only that he says your avyakta shabda does not our the shruti avyakta shabda does not mean the 
अव्यक्त शब्द विच कैरीज द प्रधान मीनिंग इन सांख्य शास्त्र बट द एक्जैक्ट वर्ड महत्व यूज इन श्रुति ऑल्सो डज नॉट मीन सांख्याज महत्व सांख्याज महत्व तत्व इज इज सम इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रिंसिपल द इंटेलेक्ट एंड इट इज एट द यूनिवर्सल लेवल सो इफ एट ऑल एट यूनिवर्सल लेवल ऑफ ऑल्सो इफ देर इज महत्व तत्व इट इज नॉट सेम महत्व एज विच इज टॉक्ड इन दी श्रुति इन कटश्रुति महत ऑफ परम अव्यक्त दैट महत इज नॉट सांख्य महत सिमिलरली युअर अव्यक्त एंड दि श्रुति अव्यक्त आर डिफरेंट सो श्रुति अव्यक्त श्रुतिगत अव्यक्त शब्द डज नॉट मीन श्रौत अव्यक्त शब्द डज नॉट मीन सांख्य अव्यक्त शब्द प्रधान दैट इज दि फाइनल रिफ्यूटेशन बाय गिविंग महत एज एक्सापल महत इट सेल्फ इज डज नॉट मीन युअर महत इन श्रुति what to talk about avyakta meaning pradhana as not meaning pradhana mahat vachcha mahat vachcha so mahat mahadvat cha that is the pad chheda mahatvat like what here is vatin so like mahat and like mahat meaning like mahat this avyakta shabda is also different from sankhya shabdas सांख्य पारिभाषिक शब्द जस्ट लाइक मीनिंग जस्ट लाइक सांख्य महत मीनिंग दी महत शब्द इन कठवल्ली जस्ट लाइक महत शब्द इन कठवल्ली इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम सांख्या महत सिमिलरली दी अव्यक्त शब्द इन श्रुति कठवल्ली इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम हैज अ डिफरेंट मीनिंग देन अव्यक्त शब्द इन सांख्य विच इज प्रधान बुद्धेरात्मा महान पर श्रुत महत शब्द यथा न सांख्यामत द्वितीय सत्ता मात्र तत्ववाची आत्मशब्द प्रयोग तदवत सो दि सिद्धांति से बुद्धेरात्मा महान पर बुद्धे पंचमी कंपेर टू बुद्धि आत्मा इज वॉट पर वॉट कण पर महान पर आत्मा इज महान पर दिस महान इज वॉट पुलिंग प्रथम एक वचन ऑफ महत शब्द is this mahan shabda which is mahat shabda having the same meaning as shan sankhya shastra gata mahat shabda definitely not because otherwise we'll have to say what mahat is purusha do you say mahat is purusha you do not agree to that here atma is purusha who is mahan so atma and mahan mahat shabda and atma shabda atman shabda are in samanadikaranya therefore mahat shabda should have different meaning as atma meaning which is different from what sankhya mahat iti shrutaha mahat shabda yatha na sankhya abhimata it is not what is known in sankhya shastra as what sankhya abhimata dvitiya satta matra tattva vachi the second satta matra tattva vachi mahat is the second one which is created so satta it has a has a separate satta it has a separate satta from purusha and it is the second in the the uh, in the set of principles they which is the they show prakriti there is a mula prakriti and then there is mahat so it is a second so tattva vachi tattva vachi shabda mahat shabda is what tattva vachi shabda what tat, not atma tattva vachi but what dvitiya dvitiya satta matra sankhya abhimata but that is in sankhya sankhya shastra what is known in sankhya shastra as having dvitiya satta that kind of a matra only that much it is not talking about atma at all that mahat shabda has a different meaning why atma shabda prayogat and therefore atma shabda prayogat na sankhya vimata dvitiya satta matra tattva vachi mahat shabda which mahat shabda shrutaha shrautaha shruti gata the kathavalli shruti has mahat shabda which does not mean sankhya abhimata dvitiya satta matra tattva vachi why because atma shabda is there atma shabda prayoga katham samana adikaranyena atma mahan mahan atma therefore atma shabda prayoga is of samana adikaran tadvat similarly na vaidika avyakta shabda api pradhana vachi similarly this vaidika avyakta shabda even mahat of param avyaktam that avyakta shabda or that 
महतः परम इफ इट इज मीनिंग अव्यक्त ऑल्सो ध्रुवम निचा य देर ऑल्सो दैट अव्यक्त शब्द डज नॉट मीन सांख्याद अव्यक्त वैदिक अव्यक्त शब्द इज डिफरेंट अभी न प्रधानवाची अतः शरीर में अव्यक्त शब्द सिद्धम देर फोर वॉट वी एव एनलाइज दैट अव्यक्त शब्द इन कठवल्ली मीन शरीर बेस्ड ऑन दी रूपक गिवन विथ रथ रथकल्पना दैट अव्यक्त मीन्स शरीर भूत सूक्ष्म एंड देर फोर भूत सूक्ष्म बींग स्थूल शरीर आरंभक भूत सूक्ष्म इज अव्यक्त ऑल दो दी स्थूल शरीर इज व्यक्त एंड कारण कैन बी यूज टू मीन कार्य एन एग्जाम्पल वॉज गिवेन एज टू गोभी श्रीणीत दैट गोभी विथ कौ Cow is Karana for cow's milk and it means milk there. So Karana word can stand for Karya. Similarly here, the Avyakta which is Bhuta Sukshma Karana of Stula Sharira is used to mean Stula Sharira and although Stula Sharira is Vyakta, still it can be through Karana which is Avyakta, it can be the meaning of the word Avyakta. Avyakta word has been used for Sharira. So Sharira means Ataha, therefore the Avyakta. अधिकरण इज कंक्लूडेड बाय सिंग शरीर में अव्यक्त शब्द सिद्धम दि शरीर अलोन इज मेन्ट बाय दि वर्ड अव्यक्त नेक्स्ट इज चमसाधिकरण वी लुक एट एंडी नेक्स्ट पाठ आमनायंत संसिद्ध आदि मध्यांत वर्जित आनंद घन आपूर्ण आत्म ज्योतिरुपास्मे ओं तत्सत धन्यवाद नमस्कार नमस्ते